it's time to talk to Devon Eric. And David, we'll start with you. Some big things have happened, some bad things have happened, and some big things are going to happen. Some bad things have happened, but some good things have happened too. All right, now first off, let's go back and cover Kev. Now Kev was attacked by the Freebirds. We all know what happened there. They jumped him, they beat him in the head, they gave him a concussion, and he asked me to take his place tonight against the missing link. Yeah, I'm happy about that too. Missing Link likes to use his head and smash it into people and Kev just might get another concussion. So Kev asked me to replace him and I said I'd be glad to because Kev's got one week until he faces Michael Hayes in the ring all by himself. Now Mark, that's going to make it a little bit different than what Kev had to do in uh, Tarrant County when three guys jumped him all by himself. This time it's going to be just Kev and just that bleach blonde Michael Hayes. Now, Kev said a little while ago in his interview that when he woke up, there were people all around him. He didn't really know what had happened. He forgot to mention one little thing. He had one handful of hair, and it was about that long, and it was bleach blonde. So you tell me who it was. Now, that's all I'm going to say about that. Did Mike do a fantastic job with Ric Flair? We gave him his opportunity. Kev knew, Kerry knew, I knew, and all you people out there and all you people here, you all knew he could do it. Ric Flair said he wasn't a Von Erich, said he didn't have the guts, he didn't have the moves, and he wasn't a Von Erich. He not only proved he was a Von Erich, that he, uh, but he also proved he is 100% Texan. Anyway, Mark, I guess you can see I'm about as proud as I can be with what Mike has accomplished. He's taking a big step all by himself. Now, a lot of people have come up to me and asked me, what are the stipulations going to be? You got the ball now, Dave, run with it. What are you going to do? I've got my attorneys and everybody all waiting. I've got several options. And when I get them all straight in my head and I put them on that piece of paper and Ric Flair signs it, then Fort Worth, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. We're going to have a new world heavyweight champion. All right. We'll look forward to that excitement. And taking an excitement, Kerry, some big double tag action, and you'll be in one of those big main events at the Sportatorium. First of all, Mark, my brother Dave and I feel the blame because when the Freebirds are in town now, we should never leave one of the binaries alone. So we feel it was our fault. Freebirds, you're in a lot of trouble now. You know, in 83, you guys just stick around almost a full year until we ran you out. Well, now it's 84. And you're going to get some more, brother, because we're coming down to your head like it's never been come down before in your entire life. And now, next Friday night, when the doctors have all said Kev will be okay and 110% like you promised us, it will be Kevin and myself against Michael and Terry Gordy. And I think Kevin alone could probably tear both their heads off. Okay. Thank you, David. Thank you, Kerry. And Johnny Mantell, a pleasure to be hearing from you tonight. I know you were impressed by the great wrestling Star Wars card at the convention center. And I know you're ready to face the son of a former world champion. Sure am, Mark. I want to say hi to everybody out there and say fantastic seeing everybody show up. 31st Tarrant County Convention Center. Friday night Dallas Fortatorium. Double tag main event action. You all want to miss it. Now it's time to talk to General Akbar about things of current importance. Well, of course, next Monday night, you know, I never step out of Devastation Incorporated. However, the Super Destroyers of Kamala are not available for the sensational car. So I secured the services of Garvish's Jimmy Garvin to team up with a missing link 
against gentlemen Slotty Liney, Chris Adams, and that bee bitten, no good junkyard dog. And uh, everybody knows that Garvin doesn't like Adams, and everybody should know that I can't stand the junkyard dog. So this, this is a good time to take advantage of beating the junkyard dog right here next Monday night in the Coliseum. So be it. It's Garvin and the missing link against the junkyard dog and Chris Adams. And I can assure you that devastation will certainly hold up their end. Now let's get to Friday. Now devastation will be well represented Friday night because Kamala will be back, the Ugandan warrior. Also the missing link. Devastation is growing and growing, growing stronger than any organization in the history of this fine sport. And I am the leader, the general. And I'd like to say something about the Iceman. All right, Iceman, you were unsuccessful in trying to humiliate a man of my pride distinction in the five minutes that were allotted to you at Tarrant County Star Wars. You know you failed, Iceman, but boy, your troubles are just beginning because I am obsessed with getting you out of professional wrestling for good, and I will, boy. All right, General Akbar, the boss of Devastation Incorporated, talking about Iceman King Parsons and the big things coming up with the Mystic Link involved and being right in the middle of it all. Now it's time to talk to Freebird Buddy Roberts is on his way to the ring. We have heard from Kevin Von Erich now his version of the story. So the first thing I will ask you is uh, let's hear your side of the story. Did you all jump Kevin when he went to the phone? It would obviously happen to Kevin Von Eric. There's no doubt in our mind at all what happened to him last Monday night to Terry Cut. Hey, get your scrubby hands off me. Stand up here where we can see you. And I'll tell you what happened to him. It's obvious there was some drunk Texan cowboy passed out in the back there. And kept, all he did was trip over him and knock his own silly head off. Kevin tripped over a drunk. A drunk Texan cowboy. It's obvious. Hey, you know what? The birds are back. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. You know, we're just like the L.A. Raiders. We're rough. We're mean. We're tough. We got no curfew. And we're world champions. We're the world six-man tag team champions. And to top it off, Von Eric, we can wrestle any place, any time in the state of Texas whenever we want. Now that you've gotten that back, Kevin faces Mr. Hayes this week. Hey, that's a real good point. And I'll tell you what, whatever there's left of that Kevin Von Eric, it sure doesn't look like there's much left to me. Michael can take care of what's left of him Monday night right here. And as far as come Friday night, there's two big tag team bouts, right? That's right. Okay, there's Michael and Terry against Kevin and Gary, correct? That's right. Okay, we have my, our good friend, Jimmy Garvin, teamed up with me against that little puny punk, Mike Von Eric, and that slimy, limey Adam. Well, that gives us three Von Erichs to one night to eliminate. And I'll tell you what, the birds are back. And if you think 83 was rough, Von Erich, wait till 84 is finished. Okay. Free for everybody, Roberts, talking about the things that have happened and the things that are going to happen. Of course, we have the big bout between Kevin and Michael Hayes coming up. He also made a reference to Gordy and Hayes against Kevin and Kerry in Dallas. Also, Roberts himself will be teaming with gorgeous Jim Garvin against Adams and Mike. Lots of things happening. Things are just now getting more lively than ever. We'll be back for our television main event in just a moment. I guess that it's appropriate just to have you out to tell us your version. The story, exactly what did happen at the convention center. Well, I'll tell you exactly what happened as best I can remember. I was called to the telephone by some Japanese photographers. I turn around, I went into the press room where there are plenty of telephones. I get to the telephone, I pick it up, dark. There's no one on there. I hung the telephone up and I turn around, there's three of them, they're all over me. Now the next thing I knew, 
I'm looking up at NWA officials, doctors, telling me the match is already uh, in the ring. My brothers are defending the, trying to get the belt back. Now, I still don't remember everything that happened until that night when I got home. But what they say is that I caused a real scene in Fort Worth. Let me say this. Now, I've uh, got a match tonight with Missing Link. I pulled myself out of it. Doctor says I've got a concussion. It's nothing serious. I've had them before. They just make you a little dizzy and, you know, see spots and all, but I'm all right. But I pulled myself out. Wait a minute. I pulled myself out tonight because uh, I want to be 110%, because next Monday night I've got a match with Michael Hayes. Now, folks, I want to tell you that you're going to see a Kevin Von Erich that you haven't seen before. I'm bent on revenge, and I guarantee you this. Michael Hayes, be there. All right. Should be very interesting. As we hear from Kevin Von Erich about the telephone situation being jumped with the Freebirds, and you can still see some of the marks on Kevin's head. It must have been a pretty bad blow or several that he took from that altercation. We'll be back now with more exciting championship wrestling when championship sports returns at 4. And I hope you're there to see all the action. There's the knee in the midsection. Another one. Boy, was David ever proud of Mike earlier, and rightly so. David down, link across from the back. Here's David trying to put the link to sleep. But the link throws him over. David still holding on. The missing link will roll to the ropes and outside, and David Von Erich doing a great job of being very persistent with that hold. What's he reaching under there for? The missing link reaching under the ring for something. He's got another chair. And David's looking at that bar, and the link trying to hold that chair down low where no one can see it. David Manning does see it and is warning David Von Erich. There's Akbar now. No telling what Akbar is telling him. Evidently they got rid of the chair. Here's David. Got him by the foot. Both feet up. An exciting bout, and it's been a great show. We're back in the Coliseum Money with Kevin and Hayes highlighting that great car. Junkyard Dog. There's the count. Junkyard Dog teaming with Chris Adams against this missing link. And gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Lee Lanika. I got it right that time against Penny Mitchell. Step over toe by David Von Erich and the fans are chanting, we want the claw. Here's the Super Destroyers. The Super Destroyers have come in from nowhere, whipping on David Von Erich, ring the bell. Now they've got David Manning who goes to the floor. It's three on one. Here's Kerry now. Them out, but David may be hurt. There's Akbar's contingency. David Manning crawling back. One of the destroyers trying to get back, and David is the 